Hi, I'm Shannon Tay Bergeron with Colorado Mountain Medical, and today I have with me Dr. Rebecca Adocio, board certified endocrinologist with us. Dr. Adocio, we want to talk a little bit about osteoporosis. That's a common condition that you see in your practice. Tell a little bit about the prevalence in our community that we see. Sure. Thank you for having me today. So osteoporosis is quite prevalent in our community and around the country and the world. We actually see about 40 million patients within our country have osteoporosis. That's a, over 40% of the population, primarily in older adults. Uh, and so we see it here in our community, even though we are quite active and healthy. Uh, it affects older individuals more likely, and we have a pretty high retiree population. And so we definitely see a lot of osteoporosis within our clinic. Is there a way to prevent osteoporosis? I know you said it, it kind of is relevant to age, but for me or a younger individual in our community, how can we start taking measures to prevent the onset of this condition? Good. Yeah, it's a great question. So there are things we can do to prevent it, but even with good practice, it can still happen. And we'll talk about that as well. But measures to prevent osteoporosis and keep your skeleton healthy include a very nutritious diet, of course, and we do want to make sure we're getting adequate amounts of calcium. And vitamin D is very important as well. When we're younger, we can get that primarily from sun exposure. As we age, it's a little harder to do that. So sometimes we need to supplement with vitamin D. Staying active is really important. The more you use your skeleton, the more you stress it, the stronger it is. Our skeleton is constantly turning over. We're getting rid of old bone and we're building new bone. And so that turnover is very important to keep it healthy. So the stronger you are, the more active you are, the healthier your diet, the more you can prevent osteoporosis. There are some other things we can do as well. So you want to protect yourself from things that can injure your bone or make it weaker. And that includes things like excessive alcohol intake and smoking, which are quite bad for your bone health as well. Earlier you commented on there are some there's a time where maybe you can't prevent it. Is there a hereditary piece to this? There definitely is. So we always ask about family history when we're seeing a patient with osteoporosis. If your parents, either one of them had osteoporosis, your risk is much greater. We also look at that in the context of having a risk of a fragility fracture, or in particular, what we would refer to as a hip fracture. Uh, that is more likely to occur in someone who has a parent that suffered a hip fracture. And that has to do with the genetic around how their bones form and the shape of their bone. All very useful information. What I hear, eat your vegetables, drink your milk, get some vitamin D, and talk to your doctor as you age to make sure that you're doing the, the right measures to prevent potential onset of osteoporosis. Thank you.